The British High Commissioner in Uganda, Kate Airy, was in the company of Taker Simon. They held a private meeting with Maega and other Mingo officials who included Devin Panga, among others. It's very lovely to see you too. I wanted to, one of the reasons we reached out was that we were extremely touched by the message passing the information. Maega told Kate Irie that the kingdom is concerned by the outbreak of Ebola in Uganda. He says since the High Commissioner was having in Sierra Leone by the time it faced an outbreak of Ebola, she has some experience to share with Ugandans. There is an Ebola outbreak, especially in uh, Movenda district and Kassanda district. Some of you were here yesterday when I talked to members of the press about the Ebola outbreak. I urge the public to wash their hands consistently with soap and sanitizers. He advised Ugandans to do whatever it takes to avoid actions that would spread Ebola because it could lead to a national lockdown. Uh, uh, everyone to heed the, the recommendations given by the health experts. We particularly advise um, all the people here in Buganda and Ugandans not to exhume bodies that have been buried, the bodies of, uh, of Ebola victims, even for purposes of carrying out religious rites, like the washing of bodies that is carried out by Muslims before burial. It's very, very dangerous. And in, in Mubende, the people who exhumed a body of a Muslim are reportedly dead. Kit Airy says Britain and Buganda, being monarchies, have shared values and aspirations. For the development and the commitment that you have for the development of your people here, it's one that we share. The United Kingdom is a proud supporter of the people of Uganda and we will continue to stand by the people of Uganda through thick and through thin, as we say in English. She hailed the kingdom's officials for sensitizing people to avoid Ebola and other projects aimed at fighting poverty. And to thank the leadership, sir, that you have just shown on ensuring that uh, actually Uganda, you know, um, continues to build on its reputation as a health expertise both here in the region, but actually broadly. This is the first time Kate Airy has visited the kingdom since King Charles III replaced her mother, Queen Elizabeth II, who died recently. Heston Munanra, CTV, PM Edition.